Hey guys, I wanted to give you a quick tour of the bottom side under the playfield on Solar City, a two player game by Gottlieb, very similar to El Dorado as far as the playfield layout. Lots of drop targets, two pop bumpers, four flippers, some uh, lower flippers, upper flippers. Pretty proud of this machine. I restored it, clear coated it. Oh, so, I lift up the playfield here, take a look at some of the mechanisms here. Here's the flipper assembly. So the solenoid pulls back, rotates the flipper bat through the shaft. So this crank pulls on the shaft, flips it back. There's the end of stroke switch that limits the current at the end of the stroke so it doesn't overheat the coil. Um, covered that in some other videos. Here's a solenoid that has a little cam that kicks the ball into the shooter lane, rolls across in here. There's a switch that initializes the play field, pushes up the uh, drop targets when, when that's hit. Um, here's the slingshots. So this little crank assembly it goes up to the upper play field, upper part of the play field, and pushes against a rubber band. So when a switch up here gets hit, this pulls down, pushes the rubber band out, and gets the ball flying around all crazy like. Okay. Now this is a really cool assembly. It's got two solenoids. It's got one that advances this this crank here. And there's one that resets it back to the home position. This is your end of ball bonus. So if you drop a drop target, and this is one of the big drop target banks. So I just dropped a target. At the end of the ball, I'm going to simulate it by hitting the switch that's in the bottom of the ball trough. This is going to rotate around, and for each of the drop targets, there's a wire that runs up to here that um, will be read by this little cam and will index the score reels. So here, I'm going to simulate it. There it was. It went clear to the end and only had one drop target dropped, so it indexed the score by one drop target amount. When you reset the play field, this pulls back the solenoid here and resets. Kind of cool. Here's... Let's take a look at this. This is a drop target bank. There's like a bazillion drop targets on this old Gottlieb machine here, which is cool. We all love drop targets, right? So when you roll over that switch in the in lane, it resets the drop target. You can see one of them's down here. If I push this back, we can reset it. There we go. Reset that. Now let's look at the bottom. This is the relay board. So this board is sitting down on the bottom. This has a uh, scoring motor here that drives a lot of the logic, so whenever you score something, this, this guy rotates around, causes all kinds of logic and stuff to happen out here in the relays and the, the chime unit. Here's your chime unit. So three chimes, very much like a doorbell. There's some solenoids down here that kick up and make that ring. If you've ever wondered when you get an extra ball, or, or I mean an extra game or a match, free game, what that big clanking popping sound is, that's just a solenoid that's hooked to the cabinet somewhere that I can't fire it very well, but it just makes a big clanking sound. Uh, it's funny, it scares a lot of people. So this is the tilt. It's just a little plumb bob in here. So if this touches the outer ring, then uh, there goes your ball. Let's reset. Um, so this is the back of the coin door. There's some coin mechanisms. The oh, I hate coin mechanisms. Everyone's always kicking the coin doors and knocking them out on my machines. Look at that profits already sitting down on my machine. Um, yeah, that's the basics of this. There's lots of relays here that do all the logic. There's there's a sheet of paper here that says well. This one's the tilt relay. Oops, just hit one. Um, there's a hold relay, tilt hold relay, score relay. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, um, anyway, I think that is it. Bye.